Again, breaking news reactions now pouring in after the Supreme Court did what's been expected and overturned Roe versus Wade this morning. It's a 6-3 opinion by the high court. A live look now outside the court building in Washington, D.C. Both supporters and protesters gathering outside that building to share their views. Roe versus Wade conferring women a constitutional right to an abortion for 50 plus years, but the court today said it was bad law supposed to be left to elected leaders in Congress and the states. Two dozen states have been waiting on that decision enacted to enact new bans, while others, including California, have voted to keep that procedure legal. We've got what you need to know about uh, the decision, how it might affect Californians and women who might seek an abortion here in our state. Now, writing for the majority, uh, Justice Samuel Alito said that the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion. Instead, he stated it's ultimately up to the states to regulate abortion access through elected leaders. Justin Finch has more reaction to that decision today in Washington. Real-time reaction to the high court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade, striking down the constitutional right to abortion, leaving that decision for states to decide. At the White House, President Biden weighing in on the court's decision. The court has done what it has never done before, expressly take away a constitutional right it is so fundamental to so many Americans. Stepped up security and barricades set up around the core complex where crowds gathered for the opinion. Abortion has been a constitutional right for nearly five decades, but with a 6-3 conservative majority on the court, abortion rights supporters have feared it would only be a matter of time before Roe v. Wade was overturned. According to a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion obtained by Politico in May and confirmed as authentic by Chief Justice John Roberts, a majority of justices voted to end federal protections for abortions and let states make their own abortion laws instead. Justice Samuel Alito writing for the majority in the draft stating that Roe was wrongly decided. Abortion rights supporters immediately expressing alarm. Be aware of this. The Republicans are plotting a nationwide abortion ban. Thousands took to the streets to protest as soon as the leak happened, some even demonstrating outside the homes of conservative justices. 26 states were poised to quickly move to severely restrict access to abortion or ban it outright. 13 have already passed so-called trigger laws that would ban the procedure once Roe is struck down. The right to life has been vindicated. And now a number of Democrat-led states are expanding abortion rights access, making it easier for women to travel to those states for the procedure. At the Supreme Court, I'm Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Planned Parenthoods nationwide and locally are preparing for new laws that might limit abortion practices. The overturning of Roe v. Wade now allows uh, these state laws to take effect in many states. States that have already enacted bans or limits are Louisiana, Kentucky, South Dakota, and Texas. Other states, including Oklahoma, Utah, and North Dakota, will ad require additional measures before enacting any new limits. Now, 13 states have either placed limits on abortion already or do plan to. Another three may potentially vote on new limits, but that's yet to be decided. Well, before the uh, high court's uh, decision, lawmakers here in California had already uh, reaffirmed a woman's right to abortion. One new measure was just passed yesterday. It prevents California courts from enforcing civil lawsuits from other states. This came after legislation allowed private citizens to sue anyone who might help a woman obtain an abortion. The bill strengthens the state's sanctuary status. It's currently in place. It's set to be enacted immediately following Governor Gavin Newsom's signature. The governor announcing a West Coast multi-state commitment as well, along with Washington and Oregon's governors. They're pledging to defend abortion access. Uh, Newsom says the court wants to strip women of their liberty and let Republican states replace it with mandated birth, he says, because the right to choose an abortion is not deeply rooted in history. Representative Raul Ruiz also releasing a statement saying, quote, everyone must be able to have a say in decisions that impact their bodies, lives, health and futures.